Vacation Friends here at Northern Knives. Well, I'm in town uh, in Anchorage for work, and uh, they said they'd give me a little shop tour. So this is... My name's Dan. Dan. Welcome to so, Northern. Yeah. yeah. So uh, how you got the shop set up here, dude? Yeah, so as you first come in, we've got some uh, like old school Gerber, some outdoor knives, kind of an eclectic bunch right up in the front here. Nice. Uh, moving on down, we've got the very well-known Benchmades. We've got Knives of Alaska, so we're looking at like the hunting style knives. Um, this cabinet right over here has got some beautiful bark rivers down at the bottom of it. Oh, yeah. A uh, big fan of them. Um, back wall is going to have all of our folders. Uh, got a we've bunch got of open bunch of open outs. Yeah. Um, Bucks, Fox, <laughs> Spider Co. Um, kind of started getting into some a little bit. A lot of people are getting into those. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, we've got some like kind of one-off stuff. We've got this like really old school, original ballet song from Pacific Cutlery. TRMs. Some TRMs, yeah. Nice. Um, a couple other knives back here. Some striders. We've, yeah, we've got a couple striders there. We've got a Chavez up there. Yeah, we've got this nice classic bench made here. Very, very oh, yeah, old school. Like so. Kind of neat eclectic stuff there. Okay, yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, so more outdoor style knives. You got some Bally songs. Bench made. You guys sell online too, right? We do sell online, yeah, northernknives.com. You can always follow us on YouTube and Instagram as well. Look at all Especially those. for like new drops and stuff like that. Right. Um, Microtex. Look at that. There's a, there's a TV sticker up there. I know, right? Um, These are all your autos? So all the autos are in here. Got Protex, Microtex, Benchmade, Spyderco, Buck. Do you guys have any knife restrictions up here? Alaska does not. No. None. No, oh, you guys are awesome. Yeah. You're not like Washington. No, not at all. <laughs> um, so kind of More OTFs. Bunch, outdoor, everyday carry kind of stuff there. Uh, here's some really neat stuff in here. We've got a bunch of knives from Medford oh, yeah, and nice. Oregon down there. Some nice hefty guys. We've got this Shot Show exclusive. Ooh, look at that one. Yeah, Demco with the uh, Timascus. We've got some of these uh, subhuman piece of shits from uh, <laughs> <clears throat> from Half Face Blades. Yeah, a bunch of neat knives in Tech here as well. Turn. Yeah. Nice. Some axes? You got a bunch. Yeah. Of so we got the throwing hatchets there, and if you look behind you, we've got all of our hatchets and axes on. The oh, okay. There. there you go. So, gotcha. That's a good stuff. Yup. These are. Rambids, tactical, yeah. miscellaneous. Next shelf is a really neat one as well. We've got some like one off, like that kind of pieces of art. Um, Ooh, Javon, look at that one. Yep, we're, we're rolling, man. Okay. You love that. That's your little, your little fixie there, Javon. <laughs> These some local handmaids? Um, no, they're just blanks that are ready for like uh, obvious and so forth. They gotcha. want to you know, kind of put something together for themselves. Maybe they have. Some okay. Or nail or something gotcha. They wanna... You guys do that stuff in house? We can, then, yeah. 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 Okay. So, William Henry's. Yeah. Holy moly. The half face blades. Those are hot right now. Great. Nice. Some whalebone. Is that what that is? Yeah. Whale so whalebone bone blade. And then a, I think that's a black bear. Right there. Boom. Dogs don't like that. Um, so, in other knives, we do make our own knives. So there's oh, you some, do? Yeah. Okay. A assortment of different things. But right now, we've got going this Fuko, which is like a Scandinavian grind style, kind of outdoor craft knife. It's an N690 steel. N690? Mm -hmm. Nice. Leather Kydex. Next case is the same. It's going to be our like bush style knife. It's called the Amuck, and that is an Elmax. Oh, this guy here? Yeah. Wow, that's wicked. Can I see that? <laughs> Absolutely. The 
muck. Wow. This is an Elmax? Elmax steel, yeah. Ooh. That is a chopper for sure, man. Look at that. What's the, uh... The material on the handle. Um, should say on say here on which one it is. Yeah, so we're gonna have whale jawbone and right. peach wood on this particular one here. Nice. But we'll use any assortment of mammoth ivory, to walrus ivory, whatever is kind of local and available. Yeah. Different woods materials, micardis, so on. So. Oh, that's gorgeous, man. Yeah. That's are. really gorgeous. Yeah, those are some nice pieces, man. Um. So, somewhere like charming pens, kind of a Scandinavian. There's some like Washington knives in here as well. The, uh, the uh, Woods Bear might be familiar. <laughs> These last two cases are kind of special. So, everything in this case and the following case are all going to be made here in Alaska. Oh, okay. Um, so, um, they're all local makers. Some are kind of full time. You know, steel forging, others kind of do it part time in the winter's a hobby or whatnot. But, gotcha. uh, yeah, a lot nice of nice looking pieces amazing. in there. Yeah, so different kinds of Damascus, tool steel, some are forged, you know, 1095 or 5160 or whatnot. But, very nice, very nice. This is all local stuff this here, is all too. All local stuff in here, too. Yeah, so we like David Ball and Mark Couch and Trevor Barrett and. A whole bunch of others. Nice. That are all, yeah. Oh, I like Mark, what, what's yeah, his Mark name? Couch. Mark, Mark Couch. Couch and Lucas okay. Lance. So Mark Couch did the Damascus work, and Lucas Lance set up the, uh, looks like mammoth ivory on the handle there. Oh, that's nice looking, man. Mm -hmm. What's the, can I see that one next to it actually? Of course. That, that's a. I like that one. Yeah, I like the looks of that one, man. That's nice. Cool. And yeah, you guys got a shit ton of hatchets. Max. Yeah, so transferred. Holtzbrook Council. Man, I'm I'm so jealous. We don't got shit like this for knife stores in Washington, man. We got like Cabela's and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's kind and of then, just about everywhere too. I, I live in Colorado for some time, and same thing. If you wanted a knife, you went down to Sportsman's or something like that. Yeah, and then this is just your kitchen cutlery. Yeah, a bunch of kitchen knives, like Japanese and German made as well. Nice. A little bit of custom stuff shows up here every once in a while, but... Okay. No. Well, I, we have reached the end of the line, folks. I am now actually going to go look for uh, something for myself. I think I might have saw a couple things, so... Some blues down there. That's kind of neat, too. Oh. Are these made locally here? They are, yeah. Sun bleached caribou. That is... Some you think bleach? Alaska knife, that's the quintessential. Yeah? Good for everything from flaying fish to skinning yeah. right. moose to chopping vegetables in the kitchen. It's yeah, those are nice, man. Those are extremely nice. And then the walrus rib bone with like different end caps of ivory and bone. Uh huh. Oh. Nice. But yeah. Cool. Well, I appreciate it, man. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to take a gander around. Uh, I think I might have saw a couple of things over here. But, anywho, appreciate you folks uh, following along. And until the next one, deuces. Deuces. <laughs>